that, that can undeniably prove what's happening. That's the whole point of it, is that it's not really that provable. And any evidence you do happen to scrape together actually serves to make you look crazy. And I suspect from what I've learned is that myself, as well as if not all, have been monitored since birth. That many targeted individuals, this has been going on for their whole life. Not all, but many. Yeah, I've seen websites. Of people. And there's a very broad, wide spectrum of the nature of targeting and the type of people that are targeted. I've also noticed that targets are not, don't really live close to each other so that you can't find support. Of course, yeah. And the only people you can turn to support for are more perps. So what, what were the main symptoms that you experienced targeting that made you well, realize that you'd be I experienced a lot of, well, the, for one, the chatterbox in the head, the AI chat bots in the head, the people observing you, talking about you, I used to call them the peanut gallery. I'm so yeah. sick and tired of the peanut gallery this is dissecting everything I do and think. It's like, this is not natural. There's no way this is me. And, you know, I've never been a horribly religious person. Uh, but, you know, I believe in a higher power. I believe that there's more to the universe than I'm capable of understanding. And I'm okay with that. But in the end, there are certain natural things that are universal to all. That uh, when you start having correlations of your, like a heart attack, and then you go to the hospital and say, no, you've got the healthiest heart we've ever seen. And then you have one right in front of them. They're like, no, you didn't. I I mean, things oh, start really? not adding up. But they do start adding up in a manner that shows something's going on i'm not crazy and they are actually doing something they are gaslighting they are lying and they are purposely have an agenda but this is preposterous so i believe that my family turned on me i believe my parents my brother my sister my grandparents all of them have provided false witness or mischaracterization of me i was abandoned to a homeless shelter when i was 15. There's no fucking way any of them even know who I am, let alone what kind of person I am. And yet they're the ones that are going to characterize me as anything. Is that because they never believed you? They said you were mentally ill or something. Is that what they no, said? No, they don't even know me. They don't even know you. I've not seen them since I was 15. I've seen my brother twice. I don't even want to see them. They're all, they're, they're, they're Mormon, they're psychotic, they're satanic, and they don't even know it. They're narcissistic asswipes, every last one of them. Could it be possible? And this comes from decades Sorry. of just getting away from them and staying away from them. But go ahead. Is it possible that you were MK Ultra as a child? Yes, trauma-based mind control is very likely. In fact, yeah. my father abused me uh, in very much the, exactly the ways that are prescribed through trauma-based mind control to create a split in your personality to which an alter can be constructed. Now, I don't know what all that means or its total end or what they were going to do with me, but I know now that it's over. They can't do it. They're not doing it. Right, because they're losing. And it just is maddening. I cannot wait until this is because they're losing. And that's I, incredible I cannot evidence. wait to find out on the final day what the heck. Yeah, it's impossible to get any evidence either. I mean, the very collection of the evidence, uh, sh I mean, even if you have somebody directly admitting to it, it's not really even admissible. The way that they have the laws of evidentiary uh, discovery set up, you'll never have your day in court. They will make sure of it. They will kill you and everything you love and everything around you before you ever have that opportunity. Then we're, we're looking at a better world, aren't we? Once everything's exposed, you will get your day as well. Hopefully everyone gets yes. what they deserve back because it's preposterous. Uh, hopefully everybody gets their day.
it, it's a bit like they could be die they're probably <coughs> diagnosing innocent people with schizophrenia saying because they hear voices and they don't yep. realize they're targeted they're targeted because they're playing with yep. us the same way as they've been playing yep. with us with 5g that's another one that's another one that's coming in that's going to invade everything about you and of course as you yep. said the way they can put viruses into you through vaccinations we're just their playthings with their fodder yep. well, through, uh, uh, dusting through smoke clouds through through vaccinations and other things they can put the key scaffolds into you and then with the 5g millimeter wave devices they can activate it or deactivate it Another function of the 5G millimeter wave devices is the 60 gigahertz speed. 60 gigahertz is the oxygen absorption band, like 2.4 gigahertz for a microwave. To 2.4 to 3 gigahertz is the water absorption band. It heats water, right? So with 60 gigahertz, it dissociates the oxygen from your blood. Now, if you're have a more concentrated, higher level, it will interrupt what's called the oxyredox cycle in your mitochondria, in which that, the resultant of the oxyredox cycle is a chemical called ATP, in which you cannot live for 17 seconds without it. It's more vital than the air you breathe to have the ATP production in your mitochondria. If you interrupt that cycle, you literally lay on the ground and die in less than 20 seconds. We have Mark of cellular Steele. starvation. Yeah, we have Mark Steele. In the I'm sorry. Area. Mark Steele is fighting very hard. Yep. Apparently, hematite, hematite yep. is what I've been to protect myself because um, I have EMF and all sorts of everything affects me. Well, because I'm a sensitive, but hematite. Yep is what can protect you against 5G. Yes. So I've got that now and lots of water and uh, you have to have um, your vitamin C. It's the same as the COVID thing. It's all about building your immune system. Yep. And, and of course, we're vibrating. We're going to be vibrating as higher beings anyway. So um, go on. Yes. Oh, I'll be right back. I need to uh, move my solar panel real quick. One moment. OK. okay. <laughs> Yeah, the sun moves and I got to make sure it's pointing. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I'm talking to Nicholas Hamburg here in Monterey, California, in the beautiful, beautiful weather. Sun is shining, still, which is great because does the weather ever change? Or are you going to be able to stay there to the warm? That's real advantage, isn't it? <laughs> You've got the lovely warm weather, haven't you? Yeah, it's really nice through the winter. It's very mild. It's pliable almost every day, 300 plus days of the year, it's pliable. And so I have a lot of opportunity to relax and repose in the air while I fly. Um, paragliding has been my savior. It has given me something to wake up for, something to motivate me past the attacks. It's, it's very healing. When did you start? One of the frustrations I have had is a lot of these bad actors. I started January 3rd, 2015. Okay, so you've been paragliding for what, five years now? More than five, nearly five, five years. More than five years. Uh, almost six years, years now, over 2,300 consecutive days. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, almost amazing. 2,300 consecutive days. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's a world record. Uh, so you go back that to you will likely natural, be able to repeat. You go back to spirit when you glide out there. You're flying around. It's yep. I feel closest to source world. while I'm flying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, fly above the bullshit. Just incredible, you know, that you've got that. Um, everyone has to have something to get up for in the morning. You have to do something you love. I, I just recently yeah. went back to dancing um, on Zoom because I was dancing a lot before uh, this lockdown. I missed it. And I've just recently gone back to it. And it's just 
Yes. Incredible. You know, I've always wanted to be a dancer and a singer. I never, but I just do dancing for fun. But it, it, it's that sense, mm -hmm. just your body is just, you, you're setting yourself free. It is like, to me, dancing's like flying. When I watch dancers, it looks like they're flying. And I can't imagine how yeah. to be brave enough to do what you're doing. I just, <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, I'm brave in a lot of ways, but not, I'm not oh, a wow. maker like that. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, sorry, so they're hitting me right now with the twitcher. The what? Sorry? They're uh, uh, using the electronic weapons on me right now, the twitcher. I can feel my uh, uh, rib cage muscles twitching. They're making my arm wiggle like they're hitting my uh, area right here. Um, I just thought I'd mention that. Well, it's it's you, still something that's happening. They're still doing just... it. You can feel it at the moment. God. Yep. Uh, yeah, they get the high pitch uh, uh, in the center of my head, like a sonic ice pick in my pineal gland. Um, and then parts of my body start twitching. Uh, I've noticed that it hasn't so much as of late been my heart, but I feel I can always tell that when my toes start pricking, my heart is next. Like they need to acquire and like poke and prod through until they find just the spot they're looking for. And the precursor is having weird twitches that are uncharacteristic uh, begin happening. Um, and then it starts, you know, my toes, like I'll feel like a big stab in my toe. And then all of a sudden my heart will start, you know, doing its giddy up. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple times that they've been able to stop it entirely. It, yeah, but you know, because of my will, tenacity, it starts going again. I mean, I thank God for the life I have. I just can't wait for these people to stop it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be in the middle of a dune in the middle of the night being microwaved. You know, I'll feel like, like I'm in an oven. Or I'll be hiking through the desert and they'll microwave me even more to be even hotter. Or I'll be, you know, at night trying to sleep and they are like making my stomach ill so that I either have a choice, get sleep or throw up my food, which I need. I mean, I know I can go without food for a little while, but I need my sleep first and foremost to maintain some sort of mental clarity. And there have been nights of just tortured writhing and screaming like a bug under a micro like a bug being torched under a lens to just knock it off stop it knock it off leave me alone just for hours it's not fun not fun at all and I'm sure a lot of you have been going through the same thing. It's it's unconscionable, the torture that they are wreaking upon people. I mean, I don't care if they're guilty of some scatabutta or completely innocent. You don't torture people. You provide them the due process they deserve in front of a jury of their peers and a magistrate to oversee so that this very thing doesn't happen. But are these the reptilians? But no, they're but just going to do what they're going to do. Is this the reptilians or is the um, the army or the CIA? Who's actually doing this? It's all of them. It's not all of them. It's, it's on all sides. It's in the military. It's in the government, both Republican and Democrat. It's in the military. It's in the, the police officers. It's everywhere. But it's not all of them. It, you know, remember uh, East Berlin, you know, not everybody was Gestapo, but they were in every single walk of life in every single community. I believe it was one in six at the time of the Nuremberg Accords was the ratio of population to Gestapo. Have you, have you tried to contact President Trump about it? I mean, I know. I think he's all over it like a wet noodle. I, I believe that my attempts and my time to try to contact him and tell him anything would be a step in the wrong direction and would distract 
him from the greater task at hand. See, I believe that he is aware yeah. that he knows exactly what's going on and he's doing everything he can working with the Alliance uh, to put an end to this. And yeah. we are winning. The yeah. military yeah. tribunals, as I understand it, have going on for the last two years. Like he said in, tw in uh, 2016, tired of winning. There'll be so much winning, you'll be tired of winning. And I see it. I feel the winning. I've had many, many personal battles won that are on the spiritual plane as a metaphor. And I'm not tired of winning, but we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. One of the biggest wins we have right now is us, you and I, Francis, just you and I talking. That right there is a huge win. This is not supposed to be happening under the rules of their program. All the targeted individuals that are getting together and voicing their experiences and their testimonies raises the, the proof level, the bar of proof that this is happening and that we're not crazy. And just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that they're not doing it to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that is a huge win. You have Q. You have all of that information. You, I mean, I'm willing to bet that by the time the election actually occurs, Joe Biden will be arrested. Uh, anybody running against him will be arrested because they're traitors. You can't put a traitor into the office. Yeah, yeah. But you got to prove it Surprise. first. And I, they have more than proved it. In fact, I don't even know why the asshole's walking around in public right now. I mean, I mean you, how the hell is he even not in front of him? If you click on the Joe Biden website, it takes you straight to Antifa. And I don't understand how good Democrats, ordinary people, yep. cannot see that. And Planned Parenthood. Uh, how can they not see the cruelty that the Democrats are putting out there? How can well, they? Well, they've forgotten blind? their history. So blind. Sorry. They've forgotten their history. They believe they when they think Hitler, they've forgotten their history. When they think Hitler, they think Nazis. They don't think about the party that he ran under to be elected because Germany was a democracy. A, dem a democratic republic. He was elected into power, and they don't. They have forgotten that it was called the anti-fascist party. And if you look at Hitler's anti-fascist party with the two marching flags and anti-fascist over the circle, the Democrats and the modern Antifa, which is short for anti-fascist, yes, took it, mirrored it. So they march left and says Antifa instead of anti-fascist. They've only changed it ever so slightly because let's face it, people are dumb. They don't take the time to even do the smallest amount of research and expect that the news and their teachers and other people are food feed them the truth. When in reality, they're only gonna tell the parts of the narrative that help them gain more control. Yes. Wow. So, so we are literally fighting Nazi all over again. Yeah. Oh, we never won. We never won. It's very hard to tell people like my husband's family, who were called Churchill and, and that lot, because they never won. We never won. Never won. They just carried on. They carried on doing everything. They carried on. Yep. Just one more question before I let you go, Nicholas, because it's getting yep. late. It's, it's <clears> there. <throat> um, when you're actually doing your hand gliding, you're doing your oh, gliding, certainly, certainly, yes. They can't get to you. Can they get to you while you're up there? Can they get to you? Oh, I'm a sitting duck. Oh, it's where I get the hardest attacks. Yeah. I'm a sitting duck. I am unshielded. There's no possible shielding I can have. I am up in the air. I mean, it's not like now. One of the reasons I like Monterey is the sand. It has a high metal content in it, high iron uh, particulate. Right. That's the shield 
so that when I'm deep in the dune, I actually have some lateral protection, but I can't protect myself from overhead. I'm in the air at a thousand feet for up deck. I'm a same duck. I'm the easiest target in the world for them to microwave. Right. But because we'll it takes what a full know. stream of consciousness living in the moment and the... Yep. I was going to say, yeah, living in the moment, exactly. That's the only thing... Yeah, you it's... it's mm. Living in the moment. Being healthy, exercising, you know, running up and down the dunes, hiking all over the city to get the little resources and food and little things that I need to continue to live keeps me healthy and fit. And it's very hard, apparently, to do anything. I can just make it twitch and jump. The level of control based on your height and fitness protects you. And that's the only shielding and protection I have is my connection with source, my yes. love of my fellow man, the love I have in my heart, that protects me. Mm. And that's all I got. Well, I've tried all this shielding and I know it works. Why would they destroy my life and uh, all my friendships and if it wasn't working? I mean, I can remember times where I was working on the post I've lost you. Hello? You that me? You're back. But Stupid technology. Can't see you. I to settle oh, down. You I'm sure it just yeah. takes a minute for the You're buffering back. to uh, catch up. You're back. So is there anything at all that we can do? We're back. Help you in any way? Anything else we can do to help you in any way? Uh, right now, pray for President Trump. Pray oh, yeah. for the alliance. Pray for the children. That is the best thing we can do right now. When somebody starts talking about the Oh, it's got it gone again. Back again. <laughs> back and front, back and front. <laughs> back again. He's back again. But you were asking what we can do. What at can this we point do we are Nicholas. What can we do? What can at this point we are late in the game. And the storm is nearly upon us. The corn is nearly harvested. I believe with all my heart that we are at the end of the targeting and that we will have answers soon. But it, because this is so huge, we've got to allow them with military precision to do the whole thing properly. What we need to do now is pray for President Trump. Pray for our faithful leaders. Pray for the members of the Alliance and other targeted individuals that they can have the strength they need to make it the last bit of the way. We're nearly there. I am convinced with all the faith and everything that I have learned that we are nearly there. We have won. These reptiles, these corrupt politicians, these pedophiles, these sycophants, are being arrested. They are being tried and they will be executed. But we have that patience. God is on our side. Thank God, yeah. And is that, how do people get in touch with you if they want more advice, if they're targeted, if they need some information? Is there any way, how do they get in touch with you? What's the best way? Because uh, if Facebook disappears off the planet, do you have a website? Well, I'm, I don't hide. I don't hide. I'm, 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 well, I have my YouTube account, Nicholas Hamblin, on YouTube, uh, okay, where so I upload all my flight videos in 360 video, hopefully for something that you can enjoy. I also put all the information that I find and can get away with mirroring without another stupid streak. Uh, as often as, as much as I can. I'm daily posting Q intelligence reports. And uh, um, at this point, I am happy to give out my email address, okay. uh, which is nicholas hamblin at gmail.com. Right. If Nicholas anybody would like to reach out, 
or support or just somebody to talk to. Yes. Yeah, Nicholas Period Hamblin oh, at gmail.com. Do you get love? Uh, again, I've got my life to live and targeting to survive, but I will always make time for anybody. Do you get lonely out there? Do you do a lot of meditation and stuff to stay sane and balanced? Yeah, I do very lamb-isolated. Pardon? And I'm very isolated. I have a few support groups that I chat with. I, okay. Some of my friends have been, you know, my targeted family uh, have been wonderful supports. I have served me on some of my hardest days. And I'm very grateful to them for just always being there with, with Hey God, sorry about this. He keeps going in and out. He's in Monterey. Um and <laughs> we keep in and out. We may obvious for obvious reasons, it keeps jumping in and out. We're try, just trying to end the interview and I want you to just quickly tell us about um your friends, uh -huh. the targeted family we're talking about, yeah. that's so important, so important. And they keep in touch it's with so you. Important. There is support. So there is support. Another website. That's what, you know, when I, I was always, I always knew I was blocked. But touch wood, I've never been targeted like that. Except that, you know, my life was whatever. I believe everything happened for a reason, like you, and made me who I am. Um, yep. But... Uh, I do, I went and I found these websites. There are websites with people with petitions and to end the targeting, people are living with hell. We are not lab rats. Nope. Enough is enough. You know? enough, is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. So tell us very quickly, how do you connect to them? Do you have a website for targeted people? Just in case someone watches this and they want to get in touch with you. I, get in touch with this family group of people that are going through similar because support is so important send me an email it is and a lot of these are private groups just so that we can avoid and vet the people to make sure that we're not letting in any more perps or bad actors yes. um, and i invite anybody to uh, get in contact with me through my email again that's nicholas period hamblin at gmail.com uh, that's H A M as in Mary B L I N. Yeah, I'll put it on underneath Nicholas so uh, everyone can this, see it. Yeah. Right. It's the same as I don't hide, it's all under Nicholas Hamblin, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or anything. You're welcome to get in contact with me. You rem it's funny that you remind me a bit of Nicholas uh, Mitchell It'll Gerber. Be Nicholas Mitchell Gerber. You remind me of him. You've got the same consciousness, um, your courage, and you know he's so brave. He he was in, uh, the Falun Dafa, trying to help uh, highlight the plight of the Falun Gong and Falun Dafa in uh, Vietnam. And he was one of my first interviews in the lockdown. Yep. And you remind me of him not only in your looks, but oh. your whole persona, <laughs> your your courage. I think I saw that. I did see that interview. Yeah, um, it's on Moving On TV. Oh, no, well, thank you very much for your kind words. <laughs> You're welcome. It's been I'm honored. mind-blowing. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> it's been mind-blowing. And, I, you know, so thank you so much for this interview. I'm I'm absolutely humbled to your courage. As I say, courage. I said courage a few times. I'm humbled <laughs> to everything that you are and everything that you're doing. Um, for humanity and, and your incredible humility, because it's all about the children. We all have that humility that we're prepared to wait a little bit longer as long as we know that the kids are going to be okay. Like you, feel the same way. Amen. They Amen. are the innocent. They are the ones they never chose. Well, spiritually, they maybe chose to be here in this, but we won't go into that. I'm talking about physically on this planet. As humans, we cannot let this happen anymore. We were taken over by something which is pure evil. And I always believed yeah. that. I never believed 
these people that said, oh, it's your dark side. No, 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 no. This is yeah, not no, they're, dark they know side. those are the ones yeah. that know exactly what's happening. Yeah. This is not our dark side. This is another archon alien that JFK said, who are the greys and why are they here? And I think they sold us out. I think the government sold yep. us out. And he he said what he had to say. And between you yep. and me, I, I think we could be alive. I, I think JFK, we're not talking about JFK Jr. I think he could still be alive. And I, JFK Jr. is alive. <laughs> Oh, Jeff Michael Kate Jackson Jr. is alive. Is alive. Yeah, Princess alive. Diana is alive. Yeah. They Anna are Isaac. Q. Anna Isaac they Kennedy. are Q. Yes, I know. Michael yeah. Jackson, JFK Jr., and Princess Diana, among others, are Q. Yes. And Isaac Cappy as well, because Isaac Cappy yes. is one of my big mentors. And But I think yeah. that JFK... Isaac is Cappy is a hero. I know. I think JFK is alive. I'm talking about the father. I, I hope so. I, but I've I seen the video. I hope it was a stunt double in that video. I've seen the declassified original footage of the assassination of JFK. Mm. That was horrific to watch. But everybody needs to see it. Everybody needs to see what has happened. Everybody needs to be shown what has happened, which is why the coming of the storm is so imperative. The urge for us, it'll go out, tell everybody, sit down, shut up, stop what you're doing, and watch this. Yeah. Uh, but you know what is so beautiful is moving on. The to tribunals, the everything. But what is so beautiful, Mitchell, is living on TV is about giving people hope. And after talking to you, and I, I, it's like it's becoming yes. more and more that we're winning and we are going to win. And we are, we have won. We have won. We just have to catch up with it. <laughs> you know, that's how I yes. explained it to my husband yes. today. We're in it's not over TV yet, but we are winning and we have won. Okay. Yep. It's like the head of the dragon has been indeed decapitated, and we are witnessing the rest of it just twitch as it dies. Yeah. That's a beautiful way to end this. Um, um, one day we will meet. We'll come and I'm here to the UK, and I, it'll just be, we'll all meet. We won't yes, meet. Yes, Francis. I look very forward to watching meeting you <laughs> we won't we won't need airplanes we'll just close our eyes and we'll be in spaceships <laughs> you know, as far as i'm concerned they've hidden a lot, <laughs> from, <laughs> us. They've hidden a lot from us you know or you can hang glide, <laughs> hang glide to the yes air. who knows but all we know is that we have to right? stay <laughs> Carry on the good it doesn't work. work like that, but it would be nice. <laughs> yep. Who knows what they? I mean, yes, ma'am. I'm looking forward. Well, to thank you so days. much for having me on, Francis. I really appreciate you taking the time. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Keep in touch, and I will try and get this on as soon as possible before they can interrupt it. Um, I, you know, I'll download it now and I'll try and get it as quickly right. as possible. And you will be going on a program called Interview with Heroes. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're a hero. And we yeah, need thank to you very much. You're welcome. You take care. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your hand gliding. <laughs> Because um, and just keep in touch with me, Nicholas, and look after yourself. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. And all my prayers and all my blessings, because I'm a pretty powerful healer. I, I I envelop you in beautiful light yes, you are. and love, so that when those bastards come near you again, I go whoosh, that's it. Poof, off, <laughs> gone, and they won't ever hurt you anymore. So I, I'm absolutely <laughs> humble to what you're going through. Yes. It, it, it's a bit like when Trump says, I'll carry the slings and arrows for you. And then poor Jesus, you know, and we are, you are that Christ now. You're going through all of this in order to change the world, yeah. to make it a beautiful world for the, the kids, for the future. The future of humanity. You know, you, you are the Christ. We all are to certain extent.
Christ in us. But some people have chosen a much more difficult journey. I'm sitting in a house here with central heating, two very lazy cats that are lying around doing nothing as usual. <laughs> Seeds, I've got everything, you know, on the computer. And I'm, you know, and you are out there doing what you're doing, which is a very, very commendable, if that's the word, right word I'm trying to say, a, a, an amazing, beautiful thing that you're doing. I don't know if I use the right word there, but you are to be celebrated as a hero, as far as I'm concerned. Anyone who does what you're doing has the guts to go out there and expose and expose like you are. Is, is a very, very um, amazing thing. So thank you for giving me the honor of interviewing you here on Moving On TV. Lots of love. Thank you very much. And I just thank you very much. You. Have a Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that interview with the incredible Nicholas Sandlin. We ended on a beautiful positive note. We are winning. We are taking humanity back. God, can you, un can you even comprehend what humans are going through at the moment? Can you even comprehend that a human being could go through so much suffering and all for humanity, all because he wants us to know the truth? And that's what we're talking about here. That's the awakening. That is love. That is compassion. This is Moving On TV. I am so grateful to be able to bring you his story, Nicholas Hamblin's story. Please share it everywhere. Subscribe, share, and like. Come on, Moving On TV. Bring your stories and um, bring in the hope and the glory. <laughs> So